best friend. We do many things together, and she is like a sister to me. When she told me that her car was broken into, I was upset. As if it had happened to me, someone has told her her CD player broken her window, even if it happens to them, or if they see it happening to others because of their fear that they will lose their homes, be separated from their families, or even get deported. This could be your neighbors. I don't want my neighbors to become victims because they are vulnerable. I don't want to wake up in the morning to hear that someone tried to rob my neighbors or even my home. Yeah. I need for my neighbors to have the freedom to be able to walk out the shadows without fearing the police will stop them and deport them. This is a threat, this is a personal threat, safety and security for our country. Wow, special. One nation under God. This is what this is. Many of them are afraid to come out and cooperate with city officials. They are afraid to come forward as witnesses or victims of crime. They are afraid of being targeted because of the race or because they speak with an accent. Would you please step to the microphone, please? Each has one minute to respond to these. Do you agree immigration is a federal issue and the city of South Bend should lobby Congress to reform our broken immigration law system? Yes or no? Absolutely yes. Mayor Nicky, do you affirm that the enforcement of federal immigration laws should be done by trained federal employees and that South Bend employees should devote their attention to the welfare and the safety of all residents of our broke of South Bend. Yes or no? Again, yes. yes. Has Chief Boykins informed South Bend police officers of his current policy of not using them to enforce federal immigration laws? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, and Sarah Barber. Does Chief Boykins foresee the South Bend Police Department assigning an officer to immigration and customs enforcement for enforcement of federal immigration laws? Yes or no? No. Safety for justice and safety for all of our community. We believe in our community. We believe in members of our community working together. And in particular, we believe that people of faith can change the face of our community. We are a mess in this country. But we know that it causes stress for individuals, for families, for neighborhoods, and for our communities. Uh, I have walked with you in demonstrations calling for changes to the federal immigration laws. I will continue to do that and will continue to lobby Congress to get this right uh, so that individuals can feel at home, can feel safe in our communities. We truly do believe that we're adversaries. That is not the case. We're allies in this effort, and we need allies to be able to transform our community to change. It's really pink.